Welcome to In the Kitchen with Melissa. I'm your host, Melissa King. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm super excited about this recipe today because it's super easy and also super simple, okay? So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your handy dandy instant pot. If you haven't gone out to buy one, go out and get one. You won't regret it, I promise you. And the cool thing about the Instant Pots is they have different sizes. This is the medium size. They have a larger one and then they have a smaller one. And if you go to Williams-Sonoma, you can get a Star Wars themed one, which is pretty amazing. I think we're gonna get a small little BB-8 one for our camper van, our adventure mobile we're building out. So anyways, go out get an Instant Pot. You won't regret it. Okay, so tonight we're gonna make chicken and marinated and Brussels sprouts. We call these bee sprouts for short in our home. And bee sprouts, they're my favorite, absolute favorite vegetable. They are a little bit of an acquired taste. So if you have never tried them before, I encourage you, if you don't like them the first time, if you cook them with this recipe and you're not really a big fan, I encourage you to roast them. Roast them. They are amazing. Roasted with some butter and maybe a little bit of balsamic vinegar. So whatever you want. So anyways, okay. So what I have done is I have some marinated chicken here. It's been there marinating for mm, about three hours or so in the fridge. I like to marinate my meat at least for at least two hours. You could do it as long as 24 hours. Totally up to you, whatever your preference is. I had to defrost this this morning, so, uh, and I forgot to do it in the morning, so I had to do it this afternoon, but that's okay. Um, I am using the Primal Kitchen Sesame Ginger Dressing and Marinade. Primal Kitchen is an amazing brand. Um, the founder, Mark Sisson, he is who my husband introduced me to eight years ago, 2012, when we met, to learn all about the Paleo Primal lifestyle. So I love Mark. I've met him. I've done training with him before through my health coaching certification and his, their tagline is, I won't get into it too much, but eat like your life depends on it. And I love that because it has a healthy avocado oil in it. Sometimes when you buy salad dressings or marinade, marinades, they have soybean oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, those oils that they're, when they're not processed, very well, which 99.9% .9 of them are not processed. They can cause oxidation in your body when you consume them and we don't want that. So anyways, I encourage you, there is um, an affiliate link under the recipes drop down on my website, melissaking.net, just a heads up. I do get a small commission when you purchase from that link. Um, and the reason I do it is because I love their products. Like we buy them in bulk when we buy them. They have amazing ketchup, barbecue sauce, protein powder. So anyways, all right, so let's dive into the recipe. So I've been marinating it, marinating the chicken breasts. Oh, and there's three chicken breasts in here, boneless, skinless chicken breasts for about three hours. But like I said, choose whatever marinade you want. Choose no marinade, it doesn't matter. So, okay. So what you're gonna do is, um, and then I just have a one pound bag of frozen bee sprouts. So you could do fresh too, either one. It doesn't matter, we just happen to have these and they're really tiny. I like the tiny ones when they're frozen because I don't need to cut them. The bigger ones, the fresh ones, I like to cut them either in half or quarters because they cook better and they're a little easier to eat. So let's dive right in. So I'm gonna take the lid off. I already have Instant Pot plugged in. If you see when it says off, that means it's plugged in, but it's not on. So it's not cooking anything, just a heads up. I'm gonna take this trivet out because we don't need this for this recipe. So I'm just gonna put that aside on the counter. And first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lid off my chicken. And if you could see, there's my chicken swimming in the marinade, the delicious marinade, sesame ginger marinade. I'm gonna gently place the chicken breasts at the bottom of the pan and I'll show you all this. 
when they're all in there. And I'm just gonna lay these in there flat. There's a little straggler. And I'm gonna pour the marinade on top of the chicken breast. So like I said, in a minute, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like before I actually turn it on, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna open the Brussels sprouts and I'm gonna just sneak a knife here and kind of cheat my way to open it because the scissors are in the drawer across the kitchen. So I'm gonna pour the Brussels sprouts just on top of the meat. And like I said, they could be frozen or fresh. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then, so when you cook with the Instant Pot, you want to make sure all recipes, when you use a pressure cooking setting on there, all recipes will call for about at least one cup of water because that helps build the pressure in the Instant Pot, the water. And so even though it can be any kind of liquid, sometimes I use homemade bone broth, like chicken stock, stock, beef stock, vegetable stock, whatever it is I have, or whatever the recipe calls for, or depending on what I'm making. So um, anyways, since there is marinade in there, I'm not going to add a full cup. It's about a cup in there, but the reason why I'm adding almost a full cup of liquid is because it's chicken. Chicken tends to dry out super easily. It's really, really easy to overcook poultry and pork. So you want to make sure you have lots of extra water, not lots, but you have more than enough water in there. So I'm just going to pour this in there. Like I said, it doesn't matter. They're just going to take a little bath in there. So now I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to put it on like this. This is the back of the lid. Oh, wait, actually, before we do that, I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. So hang tight and I'll be right there. So this is what it's going to look like in the Instant Pot. Before we turn it on, you can see the chicken breasts are layer on the bottom and then the Brussels sprouts are over it. And you can see there is one chunk of some frozen Brussels sprouts together. I'm not even going to worry about separating those because they will automatically just fall apart together or fall apart during the cooking process. Okay. So now that the chicken breast, the Brussels sprouts, or the beef sprouts, the marinade and the extra water are in there, I'm going to secure the lid. So what you do is you just put it on. You may need to angle it just a little bit. Um, this is the back of the lid and you see there's this venting right there. You're gonna wanna make sure when you have the lid on and it's secure, it's set to the, or I'm sorry, it's set to the ceiling, ceiling setting, not the venting setting. We'll use the venting setting later on. Okay, so go ahead, put your top on. Sometimes it could be a little tricky. So, um, let's see, come on. Little guy, what's going on? Okay, ah, uh, I love that noise. That means the lid's on, secure. I'm gonna make sure it's on the ceiling setting and I'm going to press the manual button and I'm going to do leave it on high pressure and I'm going to use the minus and we're going to cook it for five minutes. I did six when I made this a couple weeks ago when I test, first tested this recipe and it was a tad bit overcooked. Um, so it's, it's, hear that beep? Okay. So after you set the timer, like, I think it's 30 or 45 seconds or maybe even 60 seconds after the time is set, it will turn on. So it gives you some time to change it. But if you accidentally put the wrong time in, just hit cancel, just keep warm slash cancel and just start over. No big deal. So what the Instant Pot is doing now is it's gonna take about 15 minutes to really build up the pressure in it so it could cook it super fast. So it's gonna have, you're gonna see on, on the display until the pressure is built up enough to where it can cook it. And then you'll see 
the, uh, you'll see a, a number five on the display screen and then it'll just count down five minutes. So after it's done, what you'll do, and we'll come back to it when it's done, is it will slowly release the pressure on its own. I usually let it sit for about 10 minutes and that also makes it so the meat, can, the food in there can continue cooking a little bit. So just in case five minutes isn't quite enough because with chicken and pork, you wanna make sure you cook it through. It's not like beef or bison where it could be a little undercooked. With pork, you really wanna make sure you cook it through. So uh, 165 degrees, 160, 165 degrees is the ideal temperature, the safe temperature for pork. So, all right, so we're gonna let that heat up, let the pressure, let it create some pressure and we'll be back when it's done. Okay, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching me dance. I'm not a great dancer. I'm not a great singer. But dancing is one thing I love to do when I'm like rocking out in the kitchen, like making an amazing meal for us. But also it's, I love like cranking up my boot camp slash workout playlist. And if I'm alone in the house, I'll just crank it up and that will be my warm up. I'll just dance to like two or three songs and just go crazy. And the cats look at me like, what the heck are you doing lady? So anyways, I love music. So anything that will kind of lift up your spirits, reduce your anxiety a little bit, that's what you want to put your energy towards. And for me, music is that. So it's been about six minutes right now. So I'm just gonna show you, you wanna take a hot pad and kind of just gently, very slowly on, like release some of the pressure naturally. There's a cat over there in the corner. He's not a big fan of this process, but anyway, just kind of gently do that. And after about six or seven minutes, it should be very easy to do like that. Okay. And then you're just gonna take this off. The handle's not usually hot, but this part, this metal part there is super, super hot. So I always use a, a hot pad the first time. Oh my gosh, yikes. it looks so amazing. Okay, I'm gonna get a close up of this for you so you could take a look at it. So hang tight, one sec. So it may look a little funny right now, but I promise you it's going to be delicious. Amazing. So we will scoop it on out, serve it onto the plate. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of chicken, take this little guy, it's a little buried under the Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna put this guy on the plate. And what we found from last time I made this is it's easier to scoop out the Brussels sprouts. Um, with this, I'm just gonna scoop some of them on here, kind of drain the liquid a little bit. And we like to put butter on our Brussels sprouts and um, so butter, you could put olive oil if you want, a little salt and pepper. It will have the flavor from the marinade since it was cooked in that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab a knife. Actually, I'm gonna grab a knife from this drawer. Actually, I'm not. The knife I was looking for was it in there. So I'm gonna grab this and I'm just gonna cut into the chicken and just make sure it's done and ooh, yes. It's beautiful. Um, I can't wait to dive into this tonight. So Scott's on his way home. And so here is Instant Pot chicken breasts in five minutes marinated and some delicious bee sprout, sprouts. Of course, I'm gonna eat more than that tonight of the bee sprouts because I love bee sprouts. Those are my jam. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know when you make this recipe and let me know how it turns out. And as always, I'm so 
excited to hear from you about what recipe suggestions, what techniques you want to use cooking, just if there's a gadget you want to learn how to use in the kitchen. I probably used it. So reach out to me, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can keep up to date on all the amazing, fantastic videos we're posting. Okay, enjoy your dinner and thanks for joining me in the kitchen. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.